to Polly's Hair Bar.com Wine on Wednesdays. And to get started with this segment, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I came up with the name Polly's Hair Bar. Growing up as a little girl in Cincinnati, Ohio, my father always called me Polly. As far back as I can remember, I never heard him say my name, Paula, ever. Hair is because I'm a licensed cosmetologist, and bar is because at Polly's Hair Bar, we're going to talk about everything from hair to beauty to skincare, um, food, health, fitness, and anything else that you would like me to talk about or if there's something that you would like me to research, please email me at Paula at Polly'sHairBar.com and I will respond to you. I'll research it and we'll get that topic out there and get that on Polly'sHairBar.com. Okay, so let's get started with the wine on Wednesday. Today, we're going to be using a couple of the tools that we talked about in the segment last week. One, which is the foil cutter, and the other is the corkscrew. So we're going to go ahead and get a bottle of wine opened up today and see how it tastes. Now, today I'm going to be opening up this wine here. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon, okay? We're gonna open that up, it is a dry red wine, and it's dry because it lacks sweetness, okay? It is a table wine, and table wine should be 14% or less alcohol content in it, okay? To make the table wine. Room temperature is okay to serve this at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just shy of room temperature. Let's get started. So we're gonna take the foil cutter here, on the top and we're going to squeeze it together and we're there we go that cut the foil <laughs> so that's all we need we just need to squeeze it a little bit harder i'm trying to be cute okay Don't forget, we're going to let the handle back on this. Sit this down on here. Okay, can you see that? You see that went all the way down into the cork. Okay. Hold it tight. Let the lever down. And there's your cork. Okay? Now, as you see, you can go ahead and pull this cork down out of here and stuff it, but you should use the caps, the stoppers, and extract the air out of the bottle of wine. Okay? I have two glasses here. Which one is for red wine? If you remember from last week. That's right. It's this one. This is the red wine, okay? Now, anytime you're pouring the red wine, you should only pour it, um, let's see here, five ounces is what you should pour. And what I always judge is by, you see how this glass turns here? Right where it starts to bellow up is where you should stop pouring, okay? Let's go ahead and get that wine poured. And that's a nice good portion right there. Okay. Now, you should never hold your wine glass like this. Because what does that do? Your hands are warm and it warms it up past the temperature that it should be. You should always hold your wine glass like this and drink from it. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a drink, okay? Notice at the top of the glass, it has a large opening and that's because with red wine, you should actually sniff them. Smell all the flavors that come out of it, okay? And then take. Okay. 
very good for a dry red wine, okay? And tonight I paired that with pot roast. So we have some new potatoes, um, new potatoes, green beans, carrots, and some pot roast, and we're gonna try that. Now what this wine should do is bring out the flavor in the pot roast, so let's give it a shot. Okay, very good, cooked in a crock pot. Mm. Okay, so let's try the wine. Again, stem, it's hard to break old habits. Very good, very good. Now you can also drink some Merlot's, Red Zinfandel, anything like that will go with pot roast as well. Um, but again, don't forget to put the stopper into your wine. This can actually sit out, it doesn't have to be refrigerated because again, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just a little bit above room temperature, okay? Okay. Once again, pollyshairbar.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I greatly appreciate it. And listen to a jazz artist. Her name is Jasmine Gent. She's a saxophone player. Phenomenal. And it pairs well with some wine and some dinner. And a loved one or just all by yourself, however you want to do it, just to get some relaxation. Check her out, okay? Again, have a great evening. Thanks again for watching Wine on Wednesdays. Have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.